Welcome back to the 9446 Network for another diecast review. And this is going to be on the Garrett Smithley Richmar Racing. Rick Ware Racing. Circle B diecast Chevrolet for Rick Ware Racing, boys. And my goodness, man, we don't get these Rick Ware cars that often. This is the second of both cars. We have the Arrowheads diecast. And now we have the Richmar car for Garrett Smithley. So if you're diecast, um, have a diecast series, keep an eye on these cars. They, you're going to have some cars to fill out your field, and this is definitely going to be one of them. I mean, my goodness, is it so awesome to have some of these diecasts. Um, these are definitely going to be rare and far and few between down the road. So you got number 53, Rick Ware Racing, Chevy Camaro ZL1 1LE, Rich Mar Florist Racing. And very sharp looking racing logo. I mean, I really like that hood. That is a nice looking hood. You can see Smithley. Garrett Smithley right there. And we have 3M Lincoln Welder, Sunoco, uh, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car, Garrett Smithley, uh, SMB, I believe that says down there, Chevrolet, uh, Circle B Diecast, number 53, uh, Richmar Florist. Richmar Racing in the back with the Rick Ware Racing Chevy 53 Z01 Camaro 1 LE. And of course, we have a different color. Wow, we have a different color for Richmar. We have the green and the, the green and red Richmar Racing on the deck lid. Man, this thing is just so interesting. 53 Richmar Florist. The numbers. So we have the green outline with the black outline, a pink outline, and a white number filling with the shadow of that very interesting Rick Ware font. A little fat on the side, a little skinny on the roof, and it's even on the hood, or the nose and the back as well. So they sprayed this car pink. Okay, they sprayed this thing pink. Wow, okay, so that, that's pretty interesting. So they sprayed this thing pink and then put the black. Okay, that's interesting. You can even see from the inside of the car that it's sprayed pink. Uh, so it starts out the front end. Black splitter with the very Transformers Bumblebee Camari, Camaro Camaro <laughs> Camaro looking uh, front right there. I mean, look at the way that black, just, just sharp face mask. I mean, this has been a face mask theme with some of these Camaro paint schemes I've noticed. And wow, look at the three contingencies are completely covering the dive planes. I mean, look at that. 3M Lincoln Welder Sunoco. Look at that. Covering that thing up. Wow. Uh, so you got the black right there, as I mentioned, with the nose. And then it starts out pink. And then it just swooshes. And once again, with the swoosh design, I mentioned how popular the, these things are. And so you have the white, like, shades to it. There's two. There's like a, a white shade and then a thick shade. And it just shoots down the side as along with the pink. Which is very cool. I like how that number though. I'm telling you. We looked at this number. But this thing looks so cool. It has like three, four different colors on it. It's just interesting. I like that. Uh, so you have um, the black on the background. Which is a all a decal wrap. As you can tell. You can see that decal mishap. Where it's like a pink chip. A long pink chip. That's how you can tell this thing was painted pink beforehand. And the black part of it. We're going to look at it. So... On top of the swoosh design, you have the black with the green leaves and flowers. The leaves and flowers, as you can see. One of the, I don't I don't even have any die casts that have flowers on it. I, this is the only car that's like this. A very unique car in my collection. I'm actually glad I bought it. Well, I was about not to get this car, but I'm glad I bought it. Uh, you can see the very artistic uh, green leaves. I mean, you have it right here next to the Cup Series and then the red ass car race car. A little bit on the numbers. Uh, next to the rear quarter windows, uh, towards the back where the ethanol logo is, and the Richmar logo actually has the green outline to it. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. So, you know that swoosh design kind of looks like a PSP or a PS3 uh, screen. You know how you select colors and it has like that swooshy wave in the background? This kind of looks like a pink version of that. That's pretty cool. As, a someone, who, as someone who has PlayStation consoles in their collection, definitely like that. All the back is pink. All the back is pink. Uh, where the taillights are. And here is the top of it. And it, this black actually kind of looks weird on the roof. It looks like a little bit of a gray color while the rest is black. Very interesting uh, way of doing die cast. So the green outline on the letters too. And I'm starting to notice that a lot more. The green outline on the letters. I did not notice that before. It was there but not as intense as it is. So, so you could tell. 
They got a chip on the spoiler, man. Too many freaking paint chips on the spoiler, man. Now, and of course, the regular wheels, not a throwback die cast this time around. It's actually something unique, uh, which is really awesome. I mean, look at how these leaves look, man. I'm going to give you a closer look at those because I feel like I'm not doing it justice. But look at that. The camera can take it. Look at all that detail of the leaves, man. So cool, man. This is a pretty car. I mean, I mean, for a, a die cast to have, like, flowers on it, the, you don't get that every day. This is one of those cars that are like, wow, you're going to wish you picked this thing up. It's a wreck wear car. It's not going to run very fast, but it, it, it looks beautiful, this car. Uh, and also, one thing I like is when Circle B Diecast gets on the car, the diecast gets produced, and they make their color of their sponsor match the paint scheme. So as you can see, that dark reddish outline with the black and pink, that chrome pink looking Circle B diecast. That looks really cool. You know that diecast website where they sell the diecast and stuff? That diecast buffet re just talks about all the time in all his videos. Uh, they sponsor cars and they come out. They actually get made and they make their color match the actual car. So not a lot of sponsors do that. So I gotta give them credit, credit for their, leni their leniency on that. So that's very cool. And the, the bold white outline of the Rich Mar, Rich Mar Flores logo just looks sharp, man. The white Goodyear's sharp. Just This is just a, sh a beautiful, sharp race car. That's what I think of it. That This is one of those die kits. This is like, this is, I was, I've, I've said this before about some other paintings, but this is some bush beer territory with the detail we got on this car. I mean, my God, this is going to be, this is really good. The fact that Lionel made this car is a real shock. I mean, so Circle B Diecast, if they could sponsor more of these cars, love for them to do it because it gets more of them produced, apparently. So, this is it. This is the Garrett Smithley Rich Mar Racing uh, Florist Racing Chevy Camaro for Rick Ware Racing. And this is my only Garrett Smithley and my second Rick Ware Racing Diecast in my collection. So that is going to be the die cast review of this car. And oh, one more thing before we close out. I would love to see these rims in pink. Can you just imagine how much awesome that, that would be if the rims were pink? It would really go with this car. Anyways, that is going to be the die cast uh, review of this car. So this is it, folks. Uh, I, I, free advertisement, I guess, for Rich Mar Flores. Now this is their first time ever getting on my channel and our channel, the 9446 Network. First time getting on our channel. First time in any of my videos uh, to see them. So, if you're looking for flowers, I guess Rich Mar will do it for you. I guess I'm not really too familiar with the sponsor, but um, flowers on Valentine's Day probably. I definitely know another person that um, would love to have uh, flowers. Um, but you know, I really like this car. It's such an awesome paint scheme. I mean, if you can get this car, definitely get it. Highly doubt it'll be an authentic. So that is it. That is going to be the Rich Mar Racing Garrett Smithley uh, Chevy Camaro for Rick Ware. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next 9446 review. Whatever Philip or me post up on here. So that's going to be it for the, today's Diecast review. Hope